the system of exploitation and their political agents sitting in the government. CIT was born through intense struggle of vegan working class movement with the call of unity and struggle. After touching all the districts in Tamil Nadu, covering 2100 kilometers over 10 days, the Padayatra of the Centre of Indian Trade Unions, CITU, concluded with a large public meeting in Trichy on May 30. This campaign journey started on May 20 with seven groups and more than 300 volunteers travelled throughout. The Padayatra raised slogans and distributed pamphlets against price rights unemployment, amendment of labor laws into pro-corporate laws, creation of non-permanent workers, the proliferation of contract labor and unfair exploitation of labor in the name of scheme workers. The Padayatra was enthusiastically welcomed in the stopovers with garlands, shawls, coffees and artis at many places. They were provided with refreshments and local varieties of fruits. Cultural performances ranging from folk to hip-hop were held, reiterating the attacks on the rights of the working class. They made 14-point demands. The Tamil Nadu State Secretary of CITU, Gobi Kumar, explains about their demands. CI2 campaign demands the rulers of the country as well as the state, BJP as well as the DMK, to implement various welfare measures of the people of the country as well as the workers in particular as well as in the, the farmers and uh, workers, agriculture workers. The CI2 demands as per the decision of the All India Conference, the CI2 demands the uh, uh, Modi government to repeal the four codes as well as four courts of the um, acts, industrial labor acts, as well as not to privatize the public sector uh, units, as well as the other demand is that to implement the Indian Labor Conference recommendations on minimum wages, like 26,000 rupees per, per, per month or per month sum, and uh, to fulfill the vacancies. Almost there are more than 10 lakh vacancies, PSUs or government and state government as well as state and central government bodies. So to fulfill the vacancies and to, inc to decrease the unemployment rate we demand and mainly to arrest the price rise. The prices are uh, skyrocketing and to arrest this price rise and to reduce the particularly mainly we demand to reduce the prices of the oil, petrol, gas as well as the diesel. And for the unorganized workers, Tamil Nadu State Committee of CI2 demands the pension to be increased from 1,000 rupees to 3,000 rupees. The, uh, to the unorganized workers, the benefits to be doubled. Twice it should be implemented to the unorganized workers. And most importantly, now the labor acts, not, labor, labor acts and as well as the benefits of the labor acts are not given to a major section of the major chunk of the workers. The government, central government as well as the state government are introducing scheme workers who mainly a 90 percent, 95 percent of the scheme workers are, are uh, women workers. For them there are no safety at all. There, there are no um, safety measures are implementing or even the labor acts not being implemented to these scheme workers, particularly Makkali Thedi Marathuam, ICDS, Angarwadi workers as well as the ASHA workers. They are the uh, as per the um, state government's uh, manifest, election manifesto. They said there should be they they will be uh, when they come to power they will be regularizing their jobs, particularly Anganwadi as well as Asha and Makkali Thiri But that election manifesto uh, that uh, demand has been not been uh, implemented so far and not been fulfilled. So we demand the state government of Tamil Nadu to implement what they said in the election manifesto to regularize the uh, ASHA workers, um, uh, ICDC workers, ICDS workers as well as the Makkali Thedi Marthum workers. And uh, last and not but not least, a new section is coming into the, uh, the area of work, working class that is gig workers as well as data entry workers like that without any 
um, protection for the ID, uh, ID Act as a state union act, particularly Swiggy workers, Zomato workers, uh, Dunzo workers and data entry operators who are working in uh, TN uh, Tamil Nadu state government's old uh, TAG TV and these uh, workers have not been uh, not been uh, under the protection of the ID, ID Act for any, they are not getting any benefits of the ID Act or uh, trade union acts like uh, essential trade union uh, uh, acts like important trade union benefits like uh, uh, minimum wages, uh, CL, EL, uh, medical expenses or gratuity and so we demand the the CI to this uh, Padayatra demands the state government particularly the central government to regularize them as a workers to announce them as a workers and uh, to recognize them as workers and that thereby they will be getting all the benefits of the industrial dispute uh, industrial trade union act also and uh, with the with, with this with the, with the 14 demands we campaigned among the workers of the state Tamil Nadu state in the public meeting held on the final day of the Padayatra in Chichi, which is also the formation day of the CITU. Sapenson, the General Secretary of CITU, alleged that the union government is following pro-corporate policies and unfolding anti-working class law. He called for a united fight by all the sections to defeat the anti-people actions by the Modi-led BJP government. The system of exploitation and their political agents sitting in the governance. CI2 was born through intense struggle of the then working class movement with the call of unity and struggle. And immediately after the birth of CI2, CI2 was sought to be isolated by all others. But strength of the slogan of unity and struggle and the conviction with each CI2 was born not merely to fight for the demands of the workers, but for also to fight for the uprooting the regime of exploitation, the exploitative system that was the CI2's constitutional directive. So the strength of that ideology and unity of struggle ultimately isolated those isos, isolation, isolationist conspirator in the governance and within a period of seven years the entire country noticed all the trade unions was compelled to come on a singular united platform against the industrial relations bill in support of the railway strike within four years, the trade unions have to convert themselves, most of the trade unions. Within seven years, the total unity against the Industrial Relations Bill. And within 12 years, the first ever national countrywide general strike, united general strike by the working class in cooperation with the peasants and agricultural workers, braving the police bullets and atrocities of the then government, where ten comrades were martyred, four workers, six peasants and agricultural workers, and Tamil Nadu also, state of Tamil Nadu has its share among those martyrs. Three. Three comrades died from Tamil Nadu. This is the history. This is the historic execution of the historic necessity of the time through foundation of CI2 in last, this fifth completion of 53 years. We must cherish and take a pledge because today's situation, at that time, CI, trade union movement faced a danger of derailment towards class collaboration. Again, the country, the entire country is facing a tremendous challenge. A tremendous challenge of destruction, a tremendous challenge of the poisonous infiltration of the DVC forces in every veins of the society. Only 
to help the corporate fathers of those in governance at this moment at the center. A biggest challenge in defense of our country, in defense of the democratic setup, in defense of the people's unity, and the challenge and combat against the nastiest poisonous element which is now governing the society, governing the country. Almost all the central trade unions, except the RSS one, all the national federations of workers in the employees in the service sector, all they are in the same platform. And that platform, another signal achievement in these 50 years, that that platform of trade unions raising a political slogan that these enemy of the nation must be removed from the governance. This slogan was given by the joint platform of central trade unions against <laughs> the anti-national, destructive, divisive regime led by corporate communal nexus in governance must be driven out. That slogan was raised from in the midst of the united platform of the trade union movement. The unity has achieved a definite political height and consciousness. Today's task is to carry that slogan up to the micro level, grassroots level, to execute that in operations. And we are heading for that task before us.